Of course I'm concerned. I mean, we have a, a, a climate right now which is not healthy for, for this country. And this has happened. I think it's gotten worse over many, many different years. But uh, we are where we are. And uh, I think the security is, of course, paramount. Uh, but the reality is in 330 million people, you're always going to have people that are, that are nut jobs, right? And that's why we have, that's why you have security here uh, at Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. That's why we have it in the state capitol. But in this situation, I think uh, it's, uh, it's heightened. I don't think that there's anybody that's in office or running for office that has the, the commensurate levels of threats that have been directed at former President Donald Trump. I think that's just a fact. And to have two attempts within a two-month period. Uh, I know that, I'm thinking that happened to Gerald Ford back in the 70s, but uh, that's not something that's happened very often in the history of our country. Uh, I, uh, Mark Glass and the rest of the, the team are working uh, with them. Uh, the reality is, is we have a, a duty to pursue the most serious offense available. And I don't know that You'd want to stand in the way of that happening. Uh, so we're going to do it. Uh, they're going to work collaboratively uh, with the feds. But as Commissioner Kerner said, you know, if this is not going to be something that's going to be transparent uh, from there, you know, we're going to work hard uh, to behind the scenes to be able to get the information to the public. So uh, I feel that uh, this, this is a pretty straightforward violation of state law, potentially. That Of course, they have to investigate and prove it up, and they have to to, to get the charges filed and, and, and agreed to uh, to go forward. But, but I think that they can do that. But I just think if you get like a couple gun charges, not that those are, are de minimis, but that is not the same. There's people that have gun charges in this country every single day across every single federal uh, district in this country. To have somebody that's waiting in the bushes uh, with a long gun trying to take out a former president of the United States and current GOP nominee, that is not something uh, that can be taken lightly. And if we do anything but go the fullest extent of the law on this, then I think we're, we're sending a signal that maybe this isn't, this isn't that bad. And that's unacceptable. So we're going to go fullest extent of the law. I have confidence in Attorney General Moody and her team. Uh, to be able uh, to, to get the job done. And so we'll have more uh, information uh, as the investigation unfolds. And if it does lead, which I hope uh, it will lead to appropriate charges, uh, those will be uh, pursued um, at the appropriate time. Thanks, everybody.